right so uh, adequate infrastructure depends on uh, the implementation model that you want to go ahead with as well as um, what your student strength is and what are the resources that you have available so say uh, you have a projector kind of system already set up in your school you can really just use that to maybe like play some of the khan videos to reinforce whatever you have taught um or you can really project an assignment and you know you can group students and make a fun activity out of solving a live assignment um that's like a simple projector model if you have if you're going ahead for a intense usage where you want um personalized data on each student uh ideally each student should be able to access one device at a time at a time so for us an ideal uh implementation like an adequate infrastructure that's the other extreme of it where you have say if the maximum class strength is 50 you have 50 devices um uh, that can really allow for students to log in um and use solve assignments on khan academy now uh, again understanding resource constraints you might have 25 devices and students uh do it in rotation like how they do it usually for physics lab and chemistry lab like for example the government of kerala is going ahead and introducing a math lab as well so instead of splitting up students into two groups uh between physics and chemistry now they'll be split out into physics chemistry and math um so that's another implementation model um so it's uh, adequate would really depend based on uh what you are able to or what you are able to or what you choose to implement um but as long as it is a a, a situation where each student is being able to log in using their own individual username and password that for us is the most adequate there is